Hi everyone, Kelsey here with a very exciting episode of So What's New. Today we're going to be talking about Turtle Bay from Northcott and I'm going to show you this beautiful, beautiful beach bag that I just whipped up. And we're also going to be talking about Sun and Sea from QT Fabrics. So I am so excited to hop right in. We're going to start out with Turtle Bay. It's from Northcott and it is just a truly stunning collection. So first, let's take a look at the pieces that we got in. Turtles are always so popular and that's how this collection got its name. Look at how beautiful this particular one is. There is a free pattern provided to us from Northcott for the turtle fabric. It's called a versatile tote. Finishes at about 22 inches by 18 inches. It looks like it has some pleated pockets on the front there and all the instructions are provided for you to assemble the tote. So that's one idea right off the bat for this beautiful turtle fabric. This one, oh my gosh, I have to show you the full width of the fabric and then I'm going to show you what you can make with it. It is so pretty. At a bare minimum, it's a wonderful base if you're doing any sort of collage quilting. You can see the fabric goes from the sand all the way to the sea and beautiful painted stripes. Alrighty, so you see that and now look at this beautiful quilt that Heidi Pridemore designed and we've linked the pattern for you if you would like to make it. We don't have it in stock, but we're going to share the direct link. This is that fabric I just showed you um, placed right in the center like you're looking out of a window and I have not showed you this cute border print yet, but we're going to get to it of the sea turtles. Um, crawling along the sand. So really, really great collection for Florida. This one's got a lot of movement. It's a super bright turquoise. The same print comes in a really nice blue. Some coral. It's upside down, that's okay. <laughs> and here is the super sweet border print. Is it right side up? I hope it is. Yes, it is. Good. Oh my gosh. So they used this piece um, at the top and the bottom of that quilt. The colors are so beautiful. Okay, last but not least for Turtle Bay. It came with another bag panel and you may remember I did Flamingo Bay a couple of months ago and I showed you all how these panels are so nice to let your creativity run free. Um, I showed you how you could quilt that Flamingo Bay panel and now with this one you can do the same exact thing. I really feel like this panel lends itself to some straight line quilting. You've got the word calm here, turtle down, turtles down here, and um, just a truly beautiful oh, beach bag. I love it so much. I'm definitely keeping this. So I, tell, I told you it's a panel, but if you can't imagine what I'm saying, this is how the bag comes. It's a cut and sew project. So you'll see right here in the bottom corner, they give you very, very simple instructions for assembly. Um, you kind of can read them and then do whatever you want. Um, what I mean by that is they don't tell you to put interfacing or lining in this tote. So right off the bat, I used by Annie's Bozal Foam. See how it has nice structure. I use the sew in kind. So all I did was um, put the foam right below the panel once it was cut out and then I tacked it down at the edges so that the two became one. And once the two were one, I could sew, uh, fold it and sew it up following the instructions. So the only other thing I did differently was I added webbing to the handle because they don't, they just tell you to sew the cloth handle as it is. But as we know, if you do that, then your handle will get scrunched up really fast if you don't use any interfacing or webbing. So. All I did was fold the handle that they provided me, the raw edges in and iron it. 
And then once it was nice and flat, I just sewed it down to some inch and a half wide cotton webbing. It looks like this. We carry and sell a whole lot of webbing because we have a lot of bag makers. And webbing makes handles easy. If you just want to leave it as is, you can do that. But it's also fun to decorate it. So I just sewed the handle onto the webbing. So now my handles have nice structure and I'm ready to go to the beach. Um, also, I did not line it. I just have the foam as the inner lining there. But if you wanted to line it, you totally could. The written pattern doesn't call for you to do anything. So you get to be the creator. Um, Turtle Bay is sold out at Northcott. So what we have in stock is going to be it. So if you love this bag just as much as I do, be sure you place your order and do in-store pickup or have a ship it to you because once it's gone, it's gone. And um, that is Turtle Bay. And now we are going to take a look at the beautiful quilt behind me. This is called Sun and Sea from QT Fabrics. And my mom and I fell in love with it when we first saw it. So I'm going to um, show you the collection and show you all the things that you can do with it. First, we cut a panel, so I'm going to ask for the overhead. There it is, ready before me, and show you I love that QT Fabrics is really, really good at A, coming up with beautiful fabric for us to sew projects into, but B, coming up with great ideas. So you, you see the sun panel, and you've got fish, you've got seahorses, there's all sorts of sea creatures setting the stage in this beautiful giant sun panel. And so they give you ideas and look at how cool this Harper hold all bag is featuring the main print. I just love that they give you ideas to use panels other than in a quilt, which this is beautiful. This quilt is 52 inches by 72 inches and the pattern is designed by Sue Harvey of Pine Tree Country Quilts. If you would like to make this quilt, we have linked the pattern and we have all the fabric in store. So let's start taking a look. There's a bunch of them, so I'm gonna kind of lay them out for you to see. The gorgeous prints. We got them all. The sun comes in multiple colorways. This one is really fun. I love the movement. I feel like you can see See the movement, the way that these um, sea creatures were drawn. And so the sea creatures come in multiple colors and of course we got them all. You can do so much with this collection um, besides making bags. If you've got a sea creature theme in a children's room, these would be so great. This is beautiful. and a fun stripe. And then let's look at the project sheet again that they sent us, by Annie patterns. Patterns by Annie um, using the Bozel interfacing and foam always turn out nice. They talk about making trivets and a bendy bag and look at a patchwork skirt. How fun is that? <laughs> So everything is available in store now or on sewing.net. I hope that you have been very inspired by everything I've shown you today. And thank you so much for watching.